Hey, well, hey, you. Oh, oh, hey, what hey. is, um, hello? Oh my god, hello, what is hello. that? Hey guys, that's Machin here. Thanks for hanging out. Today's reaction comes from Sir Spooks. This is five scary videos you should not watch before bedtime. And fortunately for me, I am recording this in the morning. So hopefully this is not something that's so scary that's going to stay with me all day. But before we get into it, if you haven't already, please go over and support Sir Spooks. I'll leave a link to the channel along with a link to the original video in the description. And since you're already here anyway, it would mean a world to me for you to support me as well and help me hit my goal of hitting 6,000 subscribers. All you gotta do is go right below this video, get the like button, some love, and subscribe for more daily reactions. Without any further ado, let go. Over on the subreddit, unexplained photos. Reddit username Blackbird9251 shared a creepy video and is asking for any help on what could have possibly caused the events in the video to happen. The uploader thankfully provides us with a bit of context saying, I got this from my girlfriend today. This footage is from her cousin's workshop. I uploaded what I got, but the activity happens right after the two minute mark and right at the end. Hmm. So what kind of activity is Blackbird talking about? Question. Well, let's have a look. Oh! Oh no, the guitar just... Uh, why is it falling? Okay, it's defying the loss of gravity now. Just sort of chilling up there. What? That... Alright, well, that's fixed, I guess. If this video is indeed real, then I have no idea what could have caused this ukulele to move around all on its own like that. Because the manner in which it moved was incredibly unnatural, understandably causing some to believe it was being moved by a spirit. Yeah, especially considering this part of it is the heavier part, so there would need to have some force being pushed on the neck here. The cousin who owns the workshop said that the shop alarm went off three times in the middle of the night, but every time he checked the footage, nobody was there. But huh. when he checked the footage, this is what he saw captured on the tape. That's creepy. So, what was moving this ukulele? A I'm ghost. curious to hear your thoughts in the comments. Ghost. Unless the laws of gravity are just completely all messed up and it's not all real. Dominic Matikian posted a video to his TikTok account, which seemingly just shows him relaxing in his bed and unwinding for the day. But as you will soon find out, this day was anything but relaxing for Dominic. While he's laying down, he hears something both disturbing and also plain annoying for anybody that is trying to get some rest after a long day at work. So without further ado, let's have a listen and see what is bothering him. So, so oh! You, you, and, you know, it's been happening more during the day. Okay. Annoying. It's really disturbing. Me. Yeah, true. You can take my phone. I just, I can't take this anymore. With banging noises on the door that loud, you would suspect that there obviously has to be somebody behind the door knocking that much. But as you can see, there was nobody behind Dominic's door. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the video had a clever cut somewhere. Or a friend of his behind the door managed to quickly hide before Dominic opened the door completely. Maybe. What do you think was causing these loud banging noises? Be sure to let me know all of your theories in the comment section. I don't know, because he was looking all around and he couldn't see really much of anything. What I would have loved to see is like a continuous shot from one side of the door and the other just to see if, you know, the other camera picks up anything. When you are in the shower, you really don't expect anything unusual to happen. But as sure. the movie Psycho and this video by TikTok user Marlene Anna White go to show, that is not always the case. That's fair. What the hell is this? I only have one baby at my house today. The rest of them Hello. are with grandma. You can clearly hear my baby in the living room crying. What the hell is that? 
that. I was on the toilet when I felt like something was watching me. I've been on edge ever since I it's took a moving. picture and my dad was behind me by the door. So I decided to turn the camera on and record dot this is not my dad. I don't know what it is. What the fuck? What the hell am I looking at? I know you've seen it move before and after I gasped. Who are you? Hello? Anna clarifies <laughs> that the baby you're looking at is not her baby and says that she only has one baby and that it is in an entirely different room. And if you look carefully, you can even see it move. Oh yeah, there it is. Point. There's the arm. Anna says that ever since this incident happened, she has yeah, been on right edge there. and judging from the looks of things, she has yet to fully understand oh. what it was that she saw that day. By oh. all accounts, it absolutely looks like a baby right down to the shape and size of it. Yeah. But that's impossible because Anna has one baby and it was in a different room when this video was filmed. And Where it's ha it really hard for babies to stand up and, you know, be completely balanced, not fall over all the time. This strange baby come from and how did it get inside Anna's bathroom? It's a mystery we may never solve. Some sort of small creature or baby died there, I guess. And that's the ghost haunting it. An Arab YouTuber is doing an outdoor exploration of a creepy looking area in the middle of the night, presumably looking for something of interest to show his subscribers. For the first 20 minutes or so of the exploration, the man is unable to find anything of real interest. The area that he's looking around seems to be as quiet as can be, seeing as how it is in the middle of the night and there aren't any cars or pedestrians walking by, which makes sense. But towards the end of the video, the uploader finds something truly horrifying that I'm sure he wasn't expecting. Oh boy. Hey, what are you? Oh! Oh, what is- Um, hello? Oh my god, what is that? Dude! Is he gonna start running this way? Oh, it's... What in the fuck? It's staring right at you, dude! No, 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 no. Fuck. Looks like, looks like a freaking demon? Yeah, now it's moving. If it starts running towards the camera, I'm gonna lose it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What is he? Is he gonna smite somebody with that stick? Oh, just dropped it. Hello, sir or ma'am? Oh. It disappeared! Although what? most people would run and flee what? the scene as soon as they saw this creepy looking figure, Me? this YouTuber proceeds to shine a flashlight on the figure and its glowing red eyes for quite some time. And the figure seemingly looks at the camera the entire time. The first time I watched this video, I fully expected this entity to come chasing after the YouTuber, See? but it never does. It merely stands up top of the cliff and never does anything to harm the uploader. Even still though, I would like to think that if you stumbled upon this figure in the middle of the night, you would not only run home, but you'd probably have nightmares for weeks. Mm -hmm. Sleep with one eye open. He just tosses the stick away. Paranormies are quickly rising YouTube channel and it's not hard to see why so many people are starting to catch on to their videos. They often upload interesting and creepy exploration style videos as well as other chilling paranormal related content to scratch your horror itch. In this video, the group are venturing out to a terrifying ghost motel located near East Braintree in southeastern Manitoba. 
A couple of minutes into the video, the group are situated in a small room, getting equipment ready and making an attempt to contact the dam. Not too long into the attempt, this happens. Okay. So that was the last? Mm-hmm. I like it felt like I was drowned. Uh-huh. Yeah. That was the Okay. Did they check it out? I'm gonna scoop it out again. I'm just gonna go check it out. Let me see how far this I mean it's not that big. But it's that's probably a fire activation and shit like that. Oh. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. A couple of minutes later, they start to explore the kitchen area of the motel, which looks surprisingly intact despite a little bit of a mess. But while exploring, two creepy things happen that are completely unexplainable. Okay, thank you. Yep. Can you tell us on the ovulus what your name is? Warm? 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 Are we getting warmer? Yeah. Let's it may have been a little hard to hear, but what sounds like an entity says the word warm on the ovulus device after one of the crew members asks what its name is. But that was not the only time in the video in which something chilling happens with the ovulus device. Oh boy. A little while later into the investigation, this can be heard. I'm gonna see these by now. I wonder if that bush sign is catching anything. Ah! Jayden. Oh, that's the name! Ooh. It's a Jaden. Right? That's the name. Is that a My third? My knees are shaking. Well, you got your answer. I know that this building's falling apart, but that still doesn't make sense. At this point, they are probably getting a little unsettled by everything going on. But nevertheless, they move into one of the bedrooms to take a look. While inside, they spot something both fascinating and creepy on one of the windows. I'm gonna stop the handprint on the window. Oh, no way! Look at that! Whoa, that's creepy. That really is, dude. It's like something was dragged. Yeah, it looks almost fresh. It does look like that. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Yeah, like it happened recently. Yeah, that's messed up, man. A couple of minutes later, while they are looking into the bathrooms, something else catches their attention. Take a look at this. You hear that? That's Lorraine. That's Lorraine. Oh. This is the first real time that we heard Lorraine going off when we weren't in the same room. There's been moments like Hangman's Church where we are 100 feet away and she's gone off, but we strongly believe at this point that she's going off due to our flashlights. Sure. This time is a lot different. Also, another thing to note on is that my phone died almost immediately after Lorraine went off when we were in the other room. We've been changing out batteries and I had pockets full of batteries all night that we were changing with cameras, flashlights, even the big light that we had that's supposed to run for eight hours died in about two and a half hours. Yeah, paranormal tends to mess with a lot of different kinds of batteries for some reason. We're really just draining the batteries. Whoa. Is that us this time? That was that would have been me. That's creepy. Oh. After this, it oh. seems like the crew are only going to explore a little bit longer, and then they will finally pack their things and go. But before they are able to leave, they are given one last scare to go with them. Oh boy. Look at this. Oh god. I don't know where it went. It must have been these. I don't know where to look. There's so many cameras. Or it must be in a different room. Hang on. I'm gonna go grab it. Oh my god. What? Whoa! 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 Oh, 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 okay. Okay, dude. What was that? Can you tell me on the ovulus? Holy shit, dude. That camera would have caught it. That camera would have caught it. Unholy. Unholy. Oh, oh! Said unholy. 
Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I'm going in this room. To me, this seems like a terrifying motel that you wouldn't want to visit. No, not oh, at all. God. Well, as always, Sir Spooks is the man always finding all the hidden gems on YouTube, whether they're big time or small time YouTubers. They all, he always seems to find uh, a variety of different videos that I've just never seen before. That freaking ukulele thing that was just standing up on that counter, just defying gravity like that, that really tripped me up. And that freaking ghoul with the reddish eyes. I just, what in the hell was that anyway? So go over and support Sir Spooks. He puts out more great scary content as well. A lot more than what I've reacted to. So go support him. He does so much. He does so good for uh, the whole entire uh, horror community on YouTube. But uh, that will do it for me here. And before I go, I will give a huge shout out to all of my $5 and up supporters on Patreon. Marvin Espinoza, Cruising, Wolverine 310, and Kevster Crone, a.k.a. Kevin Crone. Thank you guys so much. And if you too would like to have your name read at the end of each and every one of my videos, along with many other cool things, please head on over to patreon.com slash Dennis and become a patron supporter today. And with that being said, comment down below. Let me know which one of these freaks you out the most. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, if you want to see past reactions, I've done the other Sir Spooks videos. Got a nice playlist right up there full of them for you. Share this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Your notification bell because I put up new videos every single day. And I will see you guys next time.